So now let's go ahead and write. Let's see proof your functionality that's going to help us. Hopefully you guys understood what's going on here. If you don't, or if you didn't understand what went on there, I'm going to come back there and explain it. Okay. So hang on a bit. Let's try the view. Now over here, I'm just going to define and this one, you could call it whatever you want. Hopefully you guys know what we are trying to do now. We simply want to write a simple, um, a simple function that's going to add to cart. Okay. So I'm going to say add underscore to underscore cart. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to pass in a request. Now, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and define a new variable cart product. Okay. And we need to assign it to an empty dictionary. So define a new variable cart product and assign it to an empty dictionary. How do we do that? We're going to say cart underscore P and we, you can call this product. Hopefully, you know, so you can say cart products or name it whatever you want. So we're going to call this one cart underscore product. So this is going to be taking care of all the products that we've got at the cart and we're going to set it to an empty object over there. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is get the current product ID. And how do we get a current product ID? It's going to be quite simple. So I'm just going to say cart underscore product. And remember that's it over here. Now we need to go ahead and get the ID. But before we get the ID, we want to convert it to a string, okay? So we convert it to a string and we passed in requests. I'm just gonna say request dot get. And what did we call it? We called it ID. So where are we getting this ID from? We are getting it from over here. And remember, we'll pass it to this product ID, which we console logged in that showed us this. Okay, so that's how we grab onto the ID into the views. Okay, hopefully you understand. Now, when we do that, we're simply going to say this should be equal to what? We're going to open up a dictionary just like that. Now we had a dictionary over here. Now we are simply overriding that. Okay. So we open up this dictionary and all we need to do now is get all the data, which are title, quantity, and price. So in order to get all the data, title, quantity, and price, all we need to do is define a new keyword. I'm going to call this one title. So take note, you could call that whatever you want. Just like I told you guys before that you could call this whatever you want. Now, in the views, you could call this one whatever you want, but you see this one that we want to do now, request.get, and we'll pass in title. You see this title over here, you can't call it whatever you want. Don't call it whatever you want. This title is this one over here. Remember, I said you could call whatever you want. So hopefully, you are beginning to have a, an understanding of how everything is chained together, okay? Now, this one is the one that we're going to be using some other time i'm going to show you guys i don't want to give you all spoilers down so i'm going to pass in title just like that and down here i'm going to go ahead and pass in quantity so you can call that q to y and i'm, I'm simply going to say request dot get and what did i call it i called it q to y right you could you can still confirm i'm going to put this side by side so you guys could you know look at that real quick why i shoot now i'm just gonna get down here quantity and finally, I'm just going to get a price. And that one is also requests.get. And um, it's called price, as you can see down there. So that's pretty much what I want to get. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is check if there is cards data in the current section. So cards data is a section that we're going to be creating now. Take note, you can call sessions wherever you want to call them. I'm going to call calling my card data. Now, card data is pretty much all the data that we've got in the cards. So data are like products and you could call that cut products but it's because i i already have a cut product over here that's why i couldn't call it cut products again and i came up with another name called cut data so we need to check if there is cut data in the current session that the user is about to initialize okay now how do we do that we're gonna say if cut underscore data now i'm now with with call it this cut underscore data that's what we're gonna be using as a session okay it's in request dot session so request.session in Django is pretty much used to get um, the current session, just like we do request.user to get the current logged in user. Request.session is used to get the current session that's it's, that's active on the user's browser or wherever sessions have been stored, okay? So we checked if cards data is in that request.session. Now take note, this card data, you could call it whatever you want from here, but, but from now, whatever we do that want to refer to card data must be called cards underscore data exactly. Or you're gonna have a problem okay so now when we do that we we checked if card data is in request section and in fact i want to i want to go with cart data object okay just like that so i have more more um explicit thing cart data objects as i said you can call that whatever you want that's just straight you can call it whatever you want now we need to check if the product is available in the current cart session so whenever a user 
clicks the add to cart button it creates a session over here so i'm going to open this up in the i'm going to open this application so as you can see it creates a session over here in those cookies now we want to check if this product is in the current session then we want to go ahead and do something else we do something else okay so how do we do that now we check if cart objects data object is a request section right we don't want to do something also we want to check just as hit earlier if I'm going to first convert this to string requests dot get and what I'm getting is the ID so I said if request dot get ID is in requests dot session cut data object then I also want to do something else so let me explain that line I'm gonna be explaining line by line so we don't have to have a whole lot of code before we start explaining so remember what I did over here now I said if the ID take notes the ID of this product is in the request dot session cut data object so look at the cast data objects like like a box that's gonna be holding all your products just picture a box in your mind that's gonna be holding all your products now in this box this product ID number two, which might be a banana, which is this one over here, right? Is it in the box? That's simply the question that we are asking over here. If it's in the box, then we do something. If it's not in the box, then we do something else. So let's go ahead and get started. So if it's in the box, what do we want to do? Firstly, we need to get the cut session and we need to assign it to a variable called cut data objects, which is this one over here that we'll be using. So how do we do that? All we need to do is just call cut underscore data. You could call that whatever you want. So hopefully you guys see why I didn't call this cut on cut underscore data again. That's because I want to use another keyword over here, cut underscore data. You know, I'm just trying to stick with the with the coolest name that we could use. That's also gonna make our project look neat and quit using things like peanuts and burritos. Okay, hopefully you all understand. Now I'm gonna put cut underscore data. And what we need to do is go ahead and get the current session. So the current session is going to be request dot session. And you know what? I'm going to copy this. And so whenever I want to type it, I'm just going to paste it out. So if we go to cut underscore um, data underscore obj. So now we get the current session, right? We assign it to this variable called cut data. And we're going to use it to do something. So as I told you guys earlier, what we just did now was get a, the cut session and assign it to a variable cut data. So we need to go ahead and increment the quantity by one. And that is because this product already exists, right? Because over here, the product already exists. And a user is still trying to add the same products that already exist to the cut. Do you understand what's going on? So whenever a user tries adding this product that exists to the cut, all we want to do is just go ahead and increment the products by one again. Hopefully you understand. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, in order to do that one, it's going to be quite easy. All we need to do is just say cut underscore data. Remember, that's what's holding our current session now. And we're going to firstly convert this to a string, follow along, and we're going to say request.get. We get the ID. Remember that this is how we'll be getting the ID. And um, just from over here, so that you guys don't miss any parentheses, just after this last one over here, and um you know i could i could even go ahead and break this up so you guys don't get confused so when we get this last one i'm just going to open this up over here and i'm going to say qty so before the last um yellow brackets this one over here i'm going to create a new bracket hopefully you understand now after the id there is there is a square bracket closing it there is a parenthesis then there is another square bracket then you open up another bracket and pass in quantity okay so we get the id right yeah now we also get a quantity right yes and what else do we want to do we want to go ahead and assign a new quantity so i'm going to convert this one to an integer and i'm going to say cuts this time around it's going to be underscore products so take notes cuts underscore products then we're going to go ahead and do what gets the str sorry we convert this to strange before we start getting the id so i'm going to say request dot gets and i'm simply going to pass in an id over there and finally, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna get back here and let's see where that stopped. And I'm just gonna pass in Q C Y. Okay, so when all this is done, I think that's pretty much what we want to do for for here. That's gonna be the most longest line that we're gonna be writing. And now, finally, we we need to go ahead and update the cut session with the new items that has been added, which is the one that was incremented. Now, for that, we're just gonna say cuts underscore data dot update cuts underscore data 
dot update and what we want to pass in over there we're going to pass in cat underscore data okay so hopefully you understand what's going on now i think that's pretty much what we want to do here except from the fact that we just need to go ahead and assign the new cast data to the current session and we're going to be done with this one so we need to say request dot session i think i still have it on my clipboard request the session and y'all know the name of the the name is cat underscore data underscore obj now we need to go ahead and assign this to what to the cat data which is the new cat data but what if this id like this id which is the product is not in the session what do we want to do so we're going to write an else statement and over here we need firstly we need to get the the session called cat underscore data object so for that we could just say request the session and um most of the time i like assigning this to a variable so i'm just going to say cat underscore data should be equal to request the session just like that and we're going to get it the name should be or oh, was cat underscore data underscore obj this is it over here okay so um now when we've done that the next thing that we need to go, do is go ahead and update the session which means since this id is not in the cut already remember when it was on the cut all we did was incremented by one hopefully you understand now since it's not in the cut already what do we want to do we just, we just want to go ahead and add the new product to the cut okay so now we need to go ahead and update the session and how do we do that i'm just gonna say cut underscore cut underscore data dot update and what do we want to pass over there we want to pass in the cut products okay so hopefully you guys are understanding everything that's going on now finally we need to add the new data to the current session so to add the new data to the to the current session we need to go ahead and request the session so i'm going to say request dot session and request the session we're simply going to go ahead and get the session remember it's called cat underscore data underscore obj and um we just need to go ahead and assign this to cat data so i'm going to say this should be equal to cat data which is the updated one so cat data Okay, guys, I guess that should be it. Now, finally, we need to go ahead and write the final if statement for this else over here. So you remember we said if the card data is an object, then we did this. What if it's not an object? Then we need to go ahead and assign the, the cards data to the cards product, as simple as that. I know all those cards data, cards product thing, I know if you, is, you are new to Django, this is really, really gonna be like gibberish to you i know because it actually took me a lot of time when i started up django to understand everything that that's going on especially when it comes to working with session and cookies and all that but hopefully you guys have a clear understanding of what's going on i don't expect it to sync at the first time i don't actually expect it to sync if this is your first or even second or even fifth time i don't expect it but don't worry with gradual process everything should start sinking deep okay all you need to do is just make sure that's you know you you practice this almost on a daily basis and everything is gonna sink deep okay okay so we say request the session cat data objects then we assign it to what cat p okay so we assign it to cat p products okay so when that's done i think that's pretty much it let's just go ahead and return the json so i'm gonna return json response return json response and um remember we called ours data from the beginning that's what we've been using so i'm just gonna call this data and what do we want to do let's go ahead and request the session what the data so i'm gonna say request dot session and what is the name of the session it's called cat cat data obj right yeah that's it and i'm also gonna copy this request session thing i kind of would need it so now just over here i'm gonna put a comma and i'm gonna call this total cat items you can call it whatever you want total cat items take note i told you guys that you could call this data whatever you want and you could call those total cat items whatever you want it's totally up to you now that one is pretty much going to be the length of how many items that we've got in the cart. so we're going to be using this one you know to automatically update this over here to automatically update two or three or four based on whenever a user hits the add to cart item or button okay so guys i think that's pretty much what we're going to be doing over here um hopefully you guys did the same thing with me now let's go ahead and um finally append this first we're going to create a url for it so over here um remember this one was filter products i'm going to say filter products url url and for this one i'm going to pass in a part so um this one remember what we called it was add to cut add underscore to cut yeah that's it now we don't need to invoke anything i'm just going to get rid of that and for the name i'm just going to say add to cut so there is a problem that's a comma problem add a comma over here and everything should be satisfied and i think yeah that's going to be it so add 
to cut make sure you pass that in or there's going to be an error so um i think yeah that should be it now let's try this out and see if we get an error then we're going to start off from there so over here i'm, I'm just going to refresh this and i'm going to get back to the console and i simply want to add to cut okay what do you notice actually it, i think it's added to cut so it, it said adding products to cut then added products to cut so i think it's actually working right now in order to confirm it i'm going to open up application and um, over here, let's see if it's created a new session. So what do you notice? It's created a new session ID. That's pretty cool, right? And um, yeah, I think it's created a new session ID. But now we don't know if everything is working. That's because we can't see anything here yet. We need to go ahead and change all that before we can start seeing it. Okay, so um, I'm going to open this up one more time and we should just finish up the code that we got over there. Then we go ahead and display, display this. So... Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is item added to cart. Okay, do you notice this? It changed the button to item added to cart. Hopefully you notice that. That's pretty cool. So another thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and count how many things that we've got in our cart. We want to update it automatically. So I'm going to say dot cart. I'm going to call it items count. Okay. And um, I'm just going to say dot text should be what? Response dot total items. So as I told you guys earlier, this was response. Then I'm going to say response dot what total cut items. So where am I getting the total cut items from? I'm getting it, I'm getting it from over here. Okay. So response dot total cut items. And why am I passing that in here? Because I'm getting the length of what, how many things we've got in the cuts. And this cut item count is what I'm going to be adding in my base HTML. So I think it's my base HTML that's holding all this cuts thing this things over here i think that's it and i'm just gonna search for pro count okay what do you notice it showed up now what i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna add in the class cuts cut items dash count take note cut items dash count not dot count or we're gonna waste a whole lot of time trying to fix this i'm gonna get rid of that free over there we don't need it for anything and for the pro count again um i think uh oh uh oh we, we need to we need to be specific with what we are getting okay so this is cut and it has two so we need to look for that we don't need to, we don't want to add it for the wish list or whatever okay so this is this is what we this is what we're looking for over here now i'm just going to pass that in and i want to make sure that this is dash count okay and there is one more that one is going to be for mobile so all i need to do is look for look for another pro count this and um that one is four that one is two this one should be the cut right yeah that's it's shop cuts so what i'm, I'm gonna do is i'm just gonna paste that down there cut items counts cut items counts make sure that's it guys and um let's go ahead and refresh so now if we refresh we can't see anything over there and that doesn't really make any sense okay i think that's not that's not showing up because um we need to go ahead and add up this so if i come over here so let's add to cuts now what do you notice we got we got all this right now we need to go ahead and add this this request dot session dot cut yeah that's what we're supposed to add over here okay so instead of adding the two or one or whatever this is what we're going to be adding okay so request dot session dot cut data object then we got the length okay so we need to go ahead and look for look for another one um the other one that we did before where we passed in the this now we, need, we just need to paste this down here so now let's refresh and um okay what's that that this i'm this what i'm always supposed to refresh and what do you notice now we got one right that's cool that's cool that's cool so now how about i clear out my i clear this out and i refresh so i cleared out the cookies take note of that and i refresh now we got zero right so now if i add to cut uh oh what do you notice that's working perfectly well and if i refresh that's still there right cool so um, I'm, I'm just going to come over here uh, and I want to open up one of those other products. There's a carrots. Now I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and let's make this three products and I'm going to add it to cut. And um, there is a problem. There is a problem. So as you can see, that didn't actually add anything to the cut. Now, that's cool, though, because I want to see what the problem is. So he says multi value dictionary. And um, let's see. Um, cuts. If request get id in request.session cuts data object hmm it's in line 200 so i'm just i'm gonna i'm gonna rush to line 200 and let's see what the problem is over here 
line 200 this should be it so if first tr request dot get id what might be the problem hmm, let's take a close look at this if str request dot get that we got the id is in request dot session which is called cart data cart data objects okay so um let's see then we did this cut data thing down here okay you know what I'm, I'm gonna give this a hard refresh and we'll try it out one more time if that doesn't work then we know that there is a real problem on ground and we're gonna go ahead and fix that so yeah I'm trying to add this and there is there is no sign of it working so there is definitely a problem now I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out my console log so I'm gonna come over here to my console log and this is what's showing up I'm gonna add okay yeah there's a problem there's a full-blown problem so I'm gonna open this up I'm gonna open this one up also and we need to take a close look so it says multi dictionary key value at add to cart built-in function id okay um let me take a, a close look at what's going on over here so um i think this problem should be this i'm gonna i'm gonna change this to to um to a string and uh, let's try this out again let's refresh it I'm gonna refresh it hopefully we don't get this error but if we get an error i think that's gonna be great because we could debug it together now instead of you guys getting it alone now i'm gonna add to cut okay as you can see this added to cut that's great now let's try adding something else to cut so um i'm gonna open up i'm gonna look for related products i'm gonna open up this one over here and now we got two products on the cut right so uh we got this one also now i'm also gonna add this to cut and um yeah nothing nothing showed up that didn't actually that didn't actually update but it should item added to cards over there it's still it's still okay 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 i think i had this in the cart already so that that's the problem i had it in the cart already yeah so um what we need to do is go ahead and look for a product that's not in the cart already so let's look for the for the cards do i have this in the cart already i'm gonna add to cart okay now what do you notice it's updates so i think that's pretty much it guys everything is working perfectly well and if you refresh as you can see it should still be there yeah that's it everything is working perfectly well and now what you're going to be doing in the in the next video is go ahead and either delete from cards or update cards or we could just display cards things that we ha that we've got over here it's, it's totally up to you whatever is it is it that you want us to do but for now i guess that's pretty much gonna be it hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new and if for any reason you are getting any error which you might be getting now do make sure to drop a, a comment in the comment section below or hit me up on my instagram or twitter wherever i'm always active and i'm gonna help you out okay yeah that's gonna be it i hope to see you guys in the next video where we're gonna go ahead and start working with something else but for now i think we have exhausted our source material and yeah we're gonna we're gonna start adding something new in the next one so yeah that's gonna be it do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing that's to really mean the world to me also turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of this out and also if you're gonna get the template check out the link in the description below the should help you get a template yeah and until the next time my love peace out